Hi guys, this is slide number three for the histology lab. It's the small intestine. And so right now I have us looking at the lowest magnification at 40 times. And I'll be increasing that as we proceed. But I just wanna give you an overall picture first. You can see the convoluted uh, layers of cells here on the inside of the small intestine, all those, all those like um, projections and the increase in surface area um, that's created through that folding of our epithelium on the inside of the intestine there. So we are going to zoom in to take a closer look at that. So let's go over here and we'll take a good look. So you can start to see some of the differences in the cells here in our um, inside of our small intestine. Specifically, I think I see a goblet cell. And of course, most of these are going to be our simple columnar epithelium. So we're going to increase our magnification once more. So we can get a real good look at that. So all of these cells here that I'm scrolling along, these are simple columnar epithelial cells with goblet cells mixed in. So this here is a gob of mucus, which is secreted into the inside of the small intestine. And then all the cells around that, these are our simple columnar epithelial cells. And you can kind of see that the nuclei of these cells all sort of are at the same level. Okay, so if you look at all these cells here, they are resting on a basement membrane down here. And the nuclei for all of these are relatively uh, even, and they're towards the lower end, towards the basal end of these cells. All right, so they ask us also to look for simple squamous, which I think I see over here, simple squamous epithelium. So this could be a blood vessel right here. And as you can see, there's a little squashed up nucleus right here and another right here. And these line blood vessels, here's another one. So these would be simple squamous epithelial cells. All right, and we saw the goblet cells. Uh, we're also supposed to look for irregular, dense connective tissue, and that will be just underneath then and surrounding surrounding our blood vessels. So he, right in here, this is all irregular, dense connective tissue. Okay, and here's more over here. You can see those fibers are randomly arranged, all kind of running every which way, okay? And then the last thing that we are to look for in this slide is smooth muscle. And that will be surrounding the small intestine. I'm going to zoom out just a little to show you that. I think it'll be a little bit clearer to look at it at a distance first. So this along here is going to be smooth muscle, okay? And it's going to uh, be in, in a large um, amount of the area surrounding our small intestine. So here's here's more of it. It's going to go all the way around. Um, so we can increase our magnification now to look at that in a little bit more detail. Okay, so here you can see the the smooth muscle fibers. There are no cross striations uh, seen, but you do have a pretty prominent elongated nucleus associated with those okay so that's smooth muscle and if you look closely you can see how that's a nice parallel type line to it versus now here we've transitioned into our irregular dense connective tissue and you see how those fibers run very differently so morphologically they they look quite different okay all right so those are the things we wanted to have you guys see in the small intestine slide so that's it for this one.